I'm Ashley, and I normally travel with my husband, Christian. But in February of 2020, I headed to Patagonia with my dad. I fell in love with the glaciers, food, and wild landscapes. With the news of Argentina reopening for tourism, I decided now was finally the perfect time to post my travels from a place known as the end of the earth. We're up nice and early this morning to do the big hike in this area, which leads you up to the base of Fitzroy. So it'll take about eight to 10 hours round trip, but it should be a really beautiful hike and definitely worth it because we get to see that guy in all of his glory. Instead of hiking up from the town, we took that access road, the highway, up back through that really bumpy road about 30 minutes or so and there's a different trailhead entrance so that you don't walk as much you cut out a couple miles of the whole hike we parked right outside of a hotel called el pilar so you park in a little parking lot outside of the entrance of the hotel road and then you walk up the road to the hotel to find the trailhead so it should be three miles from here up to the base of Fitzroy. After about 20 minutes of hiking, so that you're kind of getting eye level with some of the mountains around here, and you keep hiking along a ridge, you kind of make it through the forest, and eventually you have this amazing view. After about 15 minutes, we came to the park entrance. We're officially in Glacier National Park. We came across a little clearing where you could see Fitzroy poking through the clouds. After about an hour and a half of hiking, we came across Mirador Pages Blancas. It's this beautiful lake at the base of the mountain, and you can see quite a ways down the range actually on the right side. Everything here is so incredibly beautiful. We made it even closer to the peaks, kind of see them up there. From here we do a pretty steep ascent up to get to the lake at the base of the mountain. These trees, you can kind of find them in the forest. They have this like fuzzy moss on them. They're only on the north side of the forest. So if you ever get lost, just know, north is fuzzy. About 10 minutes after that little stream, the last kilometer of the hike starts, and this is by far the most difficult part. It goes from being a medium hike to a hard hike. The tree looks like my hair. It's basically almost straight uphill, like this rocky, like you're just going up rocky stuff the whole time. After about an hour-ish of hiking, uh, you come across, you come over the ridge finally, and you get this view. You get to see Fitzroy and everything, and then one more hill back here to climb, and we should be there. I do hike a good amount, and I, this is very, very tiring. It's, I mean, it's just straight up rocks about the last kilometer. We made it to the top, and that last little section 
is pretty hard just because it's so loose. It's just constantly falling out beneath your feet. Coming over that last ridge is incredible. Like you get the lake, all the peaks and everything. You know, I can go to all the best restaurants here, but really the best food is the sandwich at the end of a really long hike. We've made our way down to the lake and it's just another little hill that you kind of scramble down. But there's a trail that leads along the edge of the lake. So we're gonna take that and see where it leads. It's really flat, so it's not that much effort or anything, but how beautiful is this water? Oh my gosh. leads you to where you can see the Saratero Lake is back here. They're so bright teal, it's so beautiful. We can see one of the three Saratero peaks back here, which is right there. We're standing by the lake and you can see all your peaks behind you. And it's a little windy, but it's not too cold. It's worth it. I'm really glad we started at the, the point farther up. We are officially off of the mountain. We're making our way back to our car. It should only take a couple hours from here to get back, just since most of it's downhill now and that's a bit easier. On the way down though, definitely have like a hiking pole. I was using my dad's and that saved my butt literally probably three or four times. So we're gonna continue on through this beautiful forest and hit our car in a couple hours. officially back at the car and I have never been so excited to see something in my life. It took about three and a half hours to get down and I think I ended around like 45,000 steps which is insane. So another thing that I forgot to mention was those peaks we hiked to today are actually the peaks from the Patagonia logo. Some of the guys that hiked up here and actually hiked to the summit of Fitzroy were so inspired by this mountain range that they named a whole brand after it. Tomorrow is our last day in El Shaltan, and I think after today we're going to do something more relaxing. See you guys tomorrow. We're getting kind of a late start to the day. We had to check in for our flight this morning, but now it is time to go find something to eat for lunch and find some coffee. this little breakfast place for lunch and I got a coffee a mocha it tastes really good I got something called the taco gonia like Patagonia but tacos they just have some marinated beef in there with some eggs on the side and like a couple potato chips sticking up mm. it's just like brisket it's really good
They also had a bunch of different pastries, so we picked up some chocolate bread and chocolate cookies and stuff. So we're gonna have those as a snack later. We're just walking around the town. A lot of the shops are closed between like one and four or five o'clock. I mean, there's not a lot of people here. Most people are out hiking. You can probably walk the whole city in 20 minutes. Or I guess it's more like a town. El Shaltan actually means Smoky Mountain because of the way there's always a little tiny cloud like coming out of the, t like looks like it's coming out of the top of Mount Fitzroy which you can see from pretty much anywhere in the town. And yep, it looks like it's smoking today. So you can see the town starts back here and basically goes until this mountain back here. So it's not very big, really walkable for sure. Something else really fun about this town is that all the buildings are so unique. This town's only been around since 1985, so each building is like kind of a piece of the personality of the person that founded it. I just think that's really fun and they're all really cute. to the end of town and it ends with a little camper that has coffee and beer and tea. This is actually where the, tra the big old hiking trail ends too so once you come down from your hike you have a nice little drink stop right here so that was really good thinking. <laughs> of one of the two main streets in town, there's this black staircase that will actually lead you up to the start of the Saratore hike and a few other hikes in the area. So that's really cool. They just have this ramp built to basically lead into a hike. For dinner tonight, we came to another little log cabin and they had some more traditional Argentinian dishes. So I got the trout with a spinach and mushroom sauce and it came with a vegetable pie. I wasn't gonna record dessert and then we got this apple pie with ice cream, which is pretty typical. But then it came with this. <laughs> and it's caramel. It is so good. But that is the coolest presentation of caramel I've ever seen, so I, I had to include it.